Hey, good morning everybody, welcome back to this channel. My name is Roy and this is Motorvlog NL. It's uh, not a pretty day today, it's raining, but that won't stop me from uh, going towards Motorport in Rokanje uh, for the Kawasaki Promo Tour days. And today and tomorrow, um, uh, Kawasaki uh, has set up a stand where you can uh, test drive several of their new bikes and that's what we're gonna do. I just picked up this Kawasaki model at Motorport Rocanio, where Kawasaki Netherlands landed today for the Kawasaki Promo Tour 2023. Kawasaki is visiting several of their dealers across the country so that customers can basically speed date the new 2023 Kawasaki models by registering and riding the bike for about 45 to 60 minutes. The test drive is done with a group of different riders and different models and in this video I'm currently riding the Kawasaki Z900. I actually never had any interest in naked bikes before, but every year they are better looking and more advanced than the year before. And you cannot judge something if you haven't tried it. So here we are riding the 2023 Kawasaki Z900. The Z900 is equipped with a 948 cubic centimeter four-stroke four-cylinder 16-valve engine that delivers 125 horsepower, which is the equivalent of 92.2 kilowatts at 9500 RPM. It has six gears and is chain driven. The Kawasaki weighs about 212 kilograms and has a seat height of 82 centimeters on 17 inch tires front and rear. I am currently riding the Z900 on Bridgestone tires. Unfortunately I forgot to check which type but I do know that the Bridgestones gave me a lot of grip and feel during this ride.
The first thing I noticed when I got on the bike was that it, that it was a very compact package. I'm almost 2 meters in height and the bike felt really small to me. At first it felt like a grown man riding a children's tricycle, but after a couple of kilometers it felt better. It's still a small bike for my height, but I could handle the bike pretty good. The only thing that gave me issues during the test ride was working the gear shifter. I'm not sure if it was the position of the gear shifter or the size of my feet, but at times I missed the feeling when I shifted up or down through the gears. When you look at comfort, it is a bike to be playful and not to take on long extended journeys. The seat is hard but definitely sturdy and it is comfortable enough. The brakes are working like a charm. You don't have to work hard to get the bike to come to a stop and the ABS does what it's supposed to do. But most important, you will have plenty of power to get moving.
Before we started the ride, I put the bike into rain mode for obvious reasons. The bike has four modes for you to choose from. The three standard modes are sport, road and rain. And there is a fourth mode that is called riding. Here you can adjust everything separate to your personal wishes. I didn't have a chance to play around with these modes, so I just left it in rain mode. During the ride we rode through the island of Forneputte and as you can see it was a rainy and windy day. We almost only took back roads and avoided the main roads, but even on small, sometimes damaged roads with dirt and debris, the bike stood its ground and the tires never gave me an unsecure feeling. Unfortunately, due to the weather conditions, you cannot enjoy the scenery to the max, but I think you've got the drift how it's supposed to look in this area when the sun is out and everybody looks happy. Speaking of sunshine and happiness, if you like this video so far, please like this video and love, and I love to see your responses to the video in the comment sections below. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'm just starting out here on YouTube and I'm trying to grow the channel to be able to do bigger and better things in the future. Also, in a few weeks I'm off for a small but big adventure with a motorcycle and I'm bringing my camera gear. The plan is to make a small series out of that adventure. So if you want to follow me on this endeavor, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new video on this channel. We're almost at the end of this ride, and here are my thoughts on the Kawasaki Z900. This naked bike can be a lot of fun if you're not too big. The power plant of this bike is more than sufficient, and it has all the technologies that a modern bike should have. This bike will do great when you're doing twisties, and can be an excellent companion for someone that has to commute in a large city. The bike is compact and handles very well. All with all, if you are looking to get a naked bike, this might be a great option. If you're living in the Netherlands and you want to try out the Z900 or another model of Kawasaki, check out my website or the website from Kawasaki for upcoming dates and dealers. I will put the links below in the description. Thanks for watching this video and in the next video I'll take another Kawasaki model out for a ride, so be sure to check back in. See ya!